Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and we're going to look at hypergeometric distributions on the cloud version of Minitab. So we have a breeder that has 12 bulldog puppies available and three of the 12 puppies are female. If a random sample of three puppies is taken from the 12, what's the probability that at least two of the puppies in the sample are female? So big hint. You can't peek at the puppies first. You have to draw them blindfolded. So here I am in mini tab and I'm going to come to the calc menu and I'm going to come down to probability distributions. This is where I have to make my first decision. So because I'm solving for at least two, I want a cumulative. In other words, I want more than one possible outcome. I want all of those probabilities added together to give me a cumulative probability. And I would only use this probability density function if I was solving for, say, the probability that exactly two out of the three were female. But I want at least two, so I'm going to use this cumulative distribution function. So I need to pick the distribution and we use this drop down and here we are at hypergeometric and that will prompt us for all of our um, variables. So the population size was the breeder had 12 um, puppies available. The event count in the population or M is simply the number in that population that meet my criteria and I knew that there were three um, female puppies and I was going to take a sample size of N of three. Now I have to put in my value and that's simply the value that this CDF is going to solve for the probability from the value I enter cumulatively down to zero. So I wanted at least two, which is two or more. So I want to exclude one and zero. So I'm going to put in one. It's going to give me the probability of one plus the probability of none. And I'm going to say OK. And it's going to give me 0.87 Two seven, except that what we have to remember is that this is the probability right, of less than or equal to one. So <clears throat> that's the probability that x is less than or equal to one is my 0.8727, but I wanted the probability of two or more and I know that <clears throat> this probability plus this has to equal one so I'm going to take one minus my point eighty seven twenty seven and that's going to give me a probability of point one two seven three and that's the probability of two or more and I used the cumulative function because I was looking for more than one. Let's say I wanted to know the probability of exactly two, exactly two. I would come up to calc, I'd go to my probability distribution, and this time I would select the probability density function. I'd select hypergeometric. My value is exactly two out of my population of 12 where there were three successes or event count, the three females, and my sample size was three. And that's going to give me the probability of 0.122 seven and that's the probability of exactly two. So anytime that you're working with one of these probability density functions we always want to remember that you're going to select cumulative if you're looking for 
the probability of more than one number of successes and you're going to use your PDF, your probability density function, when you solve for a single value. And that holds true whether it's a binomial, a Poisson, or a hypergeometric. Right? So I hope that you found this useful and thanks so much for watching.